Hey guys, this is take two. <laughs> Abby's super excited about it. <laughs> we had a really good first take, but we didn't realize that we were really small on the top of the screen, as you guys are about to see when we dive into the specs on the computer. It's his fault. It was all Abby's fault. It's his fault. She forgot to bring the box up. We had a whole ordeal about this before. Uh, but now we're all set up, and we're ready to go. And we're ready. It's game time. So, um... We, we, I think we are showing the shoe down here, and it was, like, way out of the frame, too. I, we had a really rough go. Um, I, that's why I reached over and lifted the shoe up oh, when you put it. it over there, because I, I was like, no. I wasn't even looking at the monitor. <laughs> Let's dive in, because we're already wasting time. We're already off to a great start like last time. <laughs> um, so, today we're talking about the Hoka Challenger 7, which is an update from Hoka Challenger 5. No, just kidding. It's an update from the 6. <laughs> <laughs> what if one shoe just like skip? Ultra kind of does something weird like that. Well, they Ultra used to do their half. Used to do their half, half, half. And the update is like, oh, yeah, we're on it's one. A partial. One it's and a, a half. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? 2.0 and then 2.5. No, it's just 2.5 and then 3. And then 3.5. It's like, why not just go by whole numbers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, we're going on a sidetrack here. A That's rant. your fault. I'm amped. She's not as amped. She's sleep, drinking the sleepy time tea. I'm trying to shoot a video over here. Well, I All need right. to go to bed. Let's talk about this shoe. All right. I'm just like amped right now. I know. I can tell. Um, Continue. I forgot what I was going to say. What, what did we, we start with last time? <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. This is why we shouldn't have restarted. <laughs> okay. We uh, about, we oh, we were going to talk about the Hocus and just Hocus in general. Yes. So Hocus typically, <laughs> what on Hoka entails and like like let's say you know nothing about hokas even if you know something about hokas um essentially hokas you might learn something new here hokas are high cushion shoes look at this thing <laughs> <laughs> point out the obvious this is how this whole video is gonna go <laughs> i think we've derailed <laughs> so hoka is obviously a high cushion shoe but not unstable so uh, the nice thing about Hoka's is the extra cushioning. Uh, maybe, I didn't want to go in the stability part first, but we're going to go into it first. Um, you have all this extra cushioning, and you sit down into the shoe just a little bit right in here. So we like there's essentially like we're probably sitting almost into this extra like this lighter orange piece right here. That's kind of what we're sitting on top of. So you, these kind of come up around, around your foot like a canoe, or like guy like. Guide rails, like like a bull, like uh, bumpers in a bowling alley, or like guide rails from Brooks. Huh, weird. Huh, Brooks <laughs> stole Hoka's design. <laughs> this is not an allegation. This is this is totally an allegation. <laughs> <laughs> we can't legally. <laughs> <laughs> they stole it. <laughs> I'm telling you. <sighs> okay. Eve. Completely derailed. I would. <laughs> um, we should have just kept the first one. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so how we all, another way Hoka can uh, kind of bleh, can kind of bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> not even making sense anymore. <laughs> another way Hoka can offer stability is their last design. So last is basically the shape of the shoe, what they design the shoe for, like around. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, the last, it looks kind of like more like a linear elastic shoe. So it has a wider arch section through here, but it's still what we call a, what a, like a semi-curved last. So we draw the line through the shoe from the heel and the midfoot and the toes. We still see that little bit of curvature in the last. So I would say it's still semi-curved, but it has a wider heel or wider heel, wider arch, like, um, uh, linear elastic shoe and just a wider base in general that offers more stability. So Things like the Speed Goat's one of the most stable shoes I feel like I've ever run in. Believe it or not, it's mm -hmm. that high cushion shoe. Um, one of my favorite shoes. But essentially, with the wider base there and then you sitting in the shoe, I mean, you really sit in the Speed Goat, I feel like. Um, it offers that extra stability, so you don't have, you don't have any problems there. Um, and then also another thing with Hoka, we didn't really talk about the Rocker. Kind of let you talk about that. Did we mention, oh, uh, no, we we're going to talk about it. The foam loop later. So I'll let you talk about the rock. So um, another feature of Hoka's is they have a rocker to them, and that's basically to help with the transition from it's heel to toe. It's not like a boat. It is like a boat. She says it's like a boat. It's like a rocking chair. It's like both. We went over this in the first episode. It's like movie, I like your movie. I like the new the movie the movie the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but essentially, it is. It's like a boat or a rocking chair. Rocking chair. It's like a boat. Or a rock. Although we did call the speed goat the speed. speed. Uh, did I say speed boat or yeah. speed goat? Speed boat. <laughs> <laughs> this we did, we did call the speed goat the speed boat when I worked at Lakewood, um, the Lakewood Runners Roost, and uh, yeah, it, because it looks like a boat. Can I just get through this? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Anyways, basically the rocker is to help transition from the heel to toe, make it a little bit more, um, I always say effortless, but I don't think effortless is the right word. What did I say the first time? It's like... It does help just, just like transition. Like just transitioning. It's, it's not a super flexible shoe because yeah. of the extra cushioning. Like it doesn't flex very much. You have to have that rocker that kind of gets you up on your, propels you up on your toes. Yeah. Instead of having the shoe flex. Yeah. So, um... Some models are different depending on uh, where the rocker is placed um, and how much of a rocker is. Some models have a full foot rocker. Others have like a midfoot rocker. So it um, starts at midfoot, goes to the toe, or um, goes to, from the heel to the midfoot, depending on which one you're looking at. I feel like the midfoot's just more leveled out. Yeah. So like this midfoot being this section yeah. here. Because you can see there's like still a little bit of like a rocker in the back here mm -hmm. to help with that transition. But then there's also uh, kind of like this rocker in the front with the toes. Yeah. But like if you see something like the Stinson, for example, mm -hmm. like you were mentioning in the last video, I'm going to steal it. Um, the Stinson, <laughs> <laughs> the midfoot is probably a little bit less flat there. So yeah, but of, it's also like a higher cushion shoe. So you get a more yeah. of a rocker because you can't flex as oh, much. Oh, yeah, that was way harder to flex. Um, but yeah, so essentially like the whole idea behind a Hoka is to help with like like just transitioning from heel to toe, making that transition a lot easier, um, making the, the running or walking effort a little easier. Yeah. Well, Devin, the specs, cause we're already off to a rocky start, rocky start, you get all terrain. Trail shoe, rocky. I feel like he's going for a bit, but I can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they're trying to go away from ATR or something, maybe? Oh, yeah. So the Hoka... It's still the ATR, it's though. It's still called the ATR, um, but according the Challenger to... Challenger ATR. Yeah. Because there's a Stenson ATR. Yeah, too. so it's it's still called the Challenger ATR, but... All terrain, you. All terrain. It's but anyways, of... according to my rep, um, they do want to kind of get my away source. from my source. <laughs> 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 According to my source, um, they do kind of want to get away from the, the ATR or the all-terrain bubble. What is that word? Oh, my gosh. We just cut to the thing. <laughs> because of liability Bu reasons. Bubble? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of words right now. I am way too far into my sleepy time tier right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's in her own little bubble. <laughs> All right. Where you are now in my computer. The depths <laughs> of my computer. We don't want to go too far into <sighs> we derailed <laughs> so bad. <laughs> There's nothing on this computer, really. <laughs> All right. So uh, best use. We're on a uh, running warehouse, by the way, if you wanted to look it up. Uh, we're all around. You, but you don't get our awesome opinions. So, yeah, keep tuning in. What? <laughs> don't worry about it. All right. It's an all around shoe walking. The, the last shoe that we looked at said hiking. It did what say you hiking. think. I think it said walking. It said hiking. Okay. Said Look hiking. at the video and tell me I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to edit that video, but it's going to release before this video. So. But anyways, um, I think it's because that shoe was more designed like a trail shoe was, mm -hmm. just with a little bit more road and aspect. We're about to go in. This one is designed more like a road shoe with some trail aspects. So, so I think that's why yeah. that one said hiking. This one says walking. Yeah. And then going back into that. Services is going to be roads and pavement, smooth trails, and fire roads. Same, same as like same uh, as the that. road that we looked yep. at last week. Uh, it says the cushioning is going to be a, a high cushioned shoe, um, not maximal. I'm glad they didn't put maximal on there because that's like the Stinson. Um, Bondi. Bondi. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of shoes that yeah. would be in more of the maximal category. Yeah. Um, stability is neutral, and we talked forever about this in the last video, so we'll just uh, make it nice and sweet, nice and sweet, nice and uh, short and sweet, and I'm not going <laughs> to get to the sweet. point by that. <laughs> not short. <laughs> <laughs> Extra sweet. Anyways, uh, <laughs> most hokas are going to be more stable just because you sink down inside hey, the Hey, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> a wider base to them. Did you really just cut me off? No, I cut to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
I thought you were mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm me. cutting you off. <laughs> I should make a camera that just points at me. <laughs> Can I go back to talking? No, because I'm going to cut you off now. Uh, so stability, it says neutral, but it's more of like a minimal stability in my opinion. There's minimal on here, moderate and max. I would say it's more minimal because it's got kind of that guide rail design that Brooks stole. Stop yelling at people. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks stole it. <laughs> It's got it's Hocus Design. They just didn't <laughs> trademark it yet, so Brooks stole it. Um, but yeah, it's got like kind of like guide rail design, so the, the edges of the shoe come up around your foot, kind of stabilize that foot, and it's got a really almost like that geometric decoupling, the heel here, where it's going to allow you to have a smoother transition into your forefoot, which can kind of prevent that inwards overpronation motion. Yeah. It won't correct all of overpronation, but it does do some. Yeah. I don't know where we're at. Oh, right, here's a bunch. Of, here's the fluff we the ignored fluff last time. Didn't... There was like one thing we we picked out of this, which is the C M. No. Kamev, the Kamev. No, we the we C scrolled C down. C M E V A. Oh, oh, is there? No, is it down here? Yeah, too? it's down there. Oh. We haven't even gotten to that part yet. You're jumping the gun here. All right, we're gonna jump the gun again. It's called compression <laughs> modeled E V A. So, uh, it's a foam midsole provides optimal lightweight cushioning. So. Whoa, that was not a transition. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> what essentially th that means, EVA is ethyl vinyl acetate. She learned that in that last video. I did. Last take. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the last movie, you mean. <laughs> the last movie. <laughs> it's pretty much a movie. <laughs> it's long enough. <laughs> uh, this one will be too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> so ethyl vinyl acetate, basically what that means is it's a foam that has these little air pockets in it. These little tiny air pockets. Tiny, kind of like Abby's brain. <laughs> oh, that was me. <laughs> now the whole world knows I'm me to you. <laughs> we have evidence now. <laughs> I think we should continue. <laughs> so ethyl vinyl acetate has these little tiny air pockets. Not like Abby's brain. <laughs> that compress and re-expand. And essentially, that offers the cushioning. That compression and then that re-expanding. Um, we'll offer the cushioning so it doesn't, your foot doesn't hit the ground. So, I mean, I'm not saying it. <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to hit the ground. Just keep going. So, the compressors re expands. And there are some larger air pockets in Hocus typically from what I've seen from the cutouts, unless they've taken those out from the old models, which... I haven't seen I cutouts. need to cut... Can we cut this shoe open? No, I have to take this back to work. Please don't cut this shoe open. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a thousand likes, we'll cut a shoe open. No. We'll cut this shoe open. No. <laughs> <laughs> thousand likes. Only a thousand? Yep, that's all we need. <laughs> I'll cut this shoe open. <laughs> Let's get back into it. So the EV, so the you got the air pockets in the foam, allows it to kind of compress, re-expand. When those air pockets compress and they start to stick together at, with like enough compression, my dog's are really going at it. Um, with enough compression, um, Essentially, what that does is it pack what we call packing out the foam, right? So the, the air pockets are now packed out. And what that will, what how you can kind of see that since it's you can't really see the air pockets unless you have really good eyes. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> is, the the shoe will get really flexible. See how it doesn't flex very easily right now. It's very uh, sturdy, very stable. So when the shoe starts to flex on itself, and especially with Hoka's. When that uh, foam starts to give, you can probably get more injured. Like, these are great for injuries until they get packed out. And then yeah, they're just definitely. super unstable. Then you're on way too much cushion. Your foot's moving around everywhere. I had super somebody unstable. today actually come in Complain with injuries. an old Stinson, Stinson complaining about one. Probably. <laughs> he bought it like three or four years ago. So, But, um, yeah, he was he's a supinator, so he never really pronates. It means you like soup. <laughs> so he stays on the outside of his foot instead of pronating in. That so um, yeah. he never hit. Uh, I call that underpronation. I hate it when under, people say supination. Okay, I'm sorry. It's underpronating. He supination underpronated. is the motion outwards. Underpronation is not enough motion inwards. Okay. Anyways. So he underpronates. Um, and in the original shoe when he first bought it, I'm sure it helped correct him mm -hmm. because he wasn't having hip issues. But then um, because the shoe got so old and was starting to wear out. 
Um, That's our dogs. He was he started underpronating a lot more in the shoe just because it was not the foam got packed out so fast. Yeah, so be careful with the foam. Just a note uh, with this shoe, you probably can get for a like typical use. This is not for everybody. Sometimes it's different for people. Different people. You could probably get about three hundred fifty ish miles out of it. Maybe some people less. I would I would say some people more too. Really depends, but I would say I, about 350 is when you start to compromise the structure of the shoe. I always say if you're um, around the six month mark, if you use the shoe every day, that's when you should start looking at getting new shoes. You gotta get new shoes like every month. Yeah, but you're a special uh, case. What? I said you're a special case. <laughs> <laughs> I just might have fallen some special a little. <laughs> All right, I'll get back in the middle. I don't want to. <laughs> Feel very offended. I wasn't. You know what I mean? She is to me, guys. It wasn't bad. I was. You can't even see. You're small. You're like this small. <laughs> yeah, let's get back into it. We're, they're, they don't want to hear us bicker. All right. You're the one who started this. <laughs> <laughs> Did we talk about weight? I think no. We didn't you talk about skipped weight. all. So over because of it's a less dense foam, the weight's not as heavy as you think. So a lot of people think hokers are very, very heavy um, because you just look at it like that, that thing's heavy. It's 8.9 ounces, which is actually a pretty light shoe, honestly. It's, it's super light. I would say super light. It's super It's pretty light. light. It's light. Um, it's got a 5 millimeter offset. We don't know the stack height. I don't know the stack height. But I can't find the stack height on here or any other uh, areas. So I know that the previous model um, has a lower stack height with a 4 millimeter drop. This mm-hmm. stack height's a little taller with a five millimeter Appar- drop. Yeah, apparently I had a little more stack height. The five millimeter drop, maybe just a little more stack height in the heel, maybe just an extra millimeter in the heel. I think it is. I think they uh because they used something changed. I think it was the they changed a little bit of the like the way the foam was. I mean, the foam definitely looked different to me. Constructed, so um, because of that, they had to add the higher stack in the heel. Yeah, and I just feel like it was probably. It's probably best. I don't know. I feel like Coco was like messing around with that too much and they're getting close, too close to Ultra, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, so uh, kind of moving on, they got their Durabrasion rubber. You want to talk about the rubber really quick and kind of go over... Uh, let's talk about the what we call outsole of the shoe. So the rubber portion of the shoe, we've got these four... There are four millimeter in depth uh, lugs. So that's actually pretty close to like a lot of road shoes that we would have seen maybe like th- two or three or four years ago. Yeah. I feel like their lugs are just about the same. They're about, like, you buy a Brooks Adrenaline uh, 1918, whatever, their lugs are going to be very similar to this, and that's a road shoe. Not even the Brooks Adrenaline, what they call it, ATR? Was it ATR? Mm-hmm. I think it was, I don't remember, off-road. The off-road version of the Brooks Adrenaline they used to make. Yeah. Um, they don't think, I don't think they make they it anymore. They don't make it anymore. No. Um, but it was very, it's very similar to that. But now a lot of shoes are getting very smooth on the bottom. So now the yep. all-terrain shoes are just like standard. Just like standard. Uh, road shoes from back then. Um, but I used to run, I, I grew up in Conifer. I, I, in high school, I'd run on trails with road shoes all the time without, without much problem. It's just a little bit more comfortable to run on roads or to run roads with a trail shoe. <laughs> to run on trails with a road, with a, wow. <laughs> to run on trails with a trail shoe or an all-terrain shoe. Um, this isn't going to be your speed goat lugs. No. And it's also, you um, want to talk about the rubber. Um, yeah. So tack- the tackiness of the rubber. I'm going to let our dogs in because they're going crazy. <laughs> they're going nuts. But the tackiness of the rubber, it's not going to be as tacky as like the speed goat with the Vibram outsole. Speed goat. But it's going to have, um, since you have the higher lugs, um, in order to, to make it an all terrain shoe without it wearing out super fast, they... Um, made it so it's more like the the outsole of a road shoe. So the tackiness of the rubber is not it's not super tacky. You do get a little bit of grip, but it's not going to be as tacky as like a trail shoe. Not as tacky as my wife. Actually. <laughs> okay, I just want to say <laughs> the studio he designed. So if you think it's tacky, then <laughs> hey, it looks it cool. A- <laughs> I think it looks cool. <laughs> Got my awards behind me here. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's move on the dogs are acting like we abandoned you them. might see some tails <laughs> just gonna say that because they uh one ta- one dog's got this big bushy tail right here um but yeah let's let's dive back in. um so let's talk about we already talked about the midsole midsole being cushioning we need to talk about the mesh and then we're 
good. We're done. We can talk about how little Hoka's website has on it. <laughs> My love stuff. Like we'll show you guys that in a second. All right. So essentially, um, the mesh is kind of looks like a knitted mesh is what we were kind of talking about in the last take before somebody messed it up completely. <laughs> I am not in charge of the switcher board. <laughs> they don't even know what a switcher board is. Um, actually, some of you guys know. That was very rude. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you know what a switcher board is. <laughs> a video switching board. Switcher board. I think that was very rude. <laughs> I think you're rude. <laughs> I think you should just continue. <laughs> Put frowny faces in the comments below if you found that to be rude. <laughs> All right, the upper mesh kind of looks like a knitted mesh. They say it's an engineered mesh on running warehouse. Um, I could see that. I could see it being an engineered mesh. Um, typically, with a knitted mesh, you're going to get very big, breathable, uh, like more breathable holes because the mesh is typically thicker with the knitted mesh. So they need to add bigger holes to add more breathability. The thing with the knitted mesh is it's also going to allow dirt water and all that kind of stuff in so i can see why it's engineered because these holes aren't as big it kind of looks like a knitted mesh um so I, and i also feel like it doesn't have a whole lot of structure to the mesh yeah so that's like one concerning thing with an all-terrain shoe you want that extra structure to the shoe so you're not going to be flopping around like if we look at the shoe that we looked at last week which is the outroad you saw that that had that vinyl piece that came up a little bit to help from splashes or like mm -hmm. dirt getting from in the inside of the shoe. And also gave you an extra little bit of stability in the in the mesh there. So that's a little bit concerning here. Hoka's you used it down in the foam a little bit. So that does offer maybe a little bit of that splash guard and stuff. So maybe yeah. it's not as bad as it we is, think. It's a higher stack too. Yeah. So you're going to be higher off the ground. But even the speed goat, I see some of that vinyl coming up on the, on the shoe. So that's a little bit concerning. I mean, the speed goat is their pure trail shoe. Uh, so I could I could kind of see that, but it just I just feel like that it should add just a little bit extra to the mesh, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, they also kind of changes. I believe I don't believe the last uh, challenger had this um, bevel. What do you call this? Heel counter. Heel counter, whatever it is. Heel like this bevel, the beveled piece here, like where it curves away from your foot, your Achilles, mm -hmm. right? Your Achilles is back here, that giant tendon. Um, and it's supposed to like Nike when they first made this design claimed that it was to reduce the stress on the Achilles tendon. You see this design, you've seen this design for a while in the Clifton, I think since the Clifton six, if I remember right, maybe, no, I don't think the five had, it. I think the six had it for, since the six. Um, so basically, yeah, to help with the stress on the Achilles, I feel like maybe it's maybe slightly looser fit though in heel counter when you have this. Um, but then again, we're not digging in the Achilles and you made a point last time about the rocker. Yeah, so um, since it does have more of a rocker, I do see that it is, like, the way that it's beveled, your ankle is still going to be flexing, so you want something that's going to flex with your foot, and I think... Or that give you some leeway. Give yeah. you some leeway, so this kind of helps with that, versus just having it, like, if you just have it cut off here, which most of them do, mm -hmm. and don't have anything, your ankle's going to dig in. Yep. So I think that... That does help with that issue. What is the cat doing? <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, we own a zoo. She is we... going to. Oh, cause great. Problems. <laughs> if the camera falls over, we know who it is. <laughs> it's our cat. <laughs> and it's a very expensive camera. Um, the other reason why I think that, going back to the mesh, sorry, I zoned out for a second there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> cats are really making us. <laughs> well, I wish you could show you guys what the cat's doing. And then the Malos, do not. Oh, all right, keep going, keep going, okay. go on to it, because so we got to wrap the, this video up. Um, yeah, so I believe that the reason why they made it more of, like, an engineered, in, engineered mesh that's more of a, like, uh, more like a knit upper is because they wanted it to feel more like a road shoe rather than a trail shoe, whereas the out road, they wanted it to feel more like a trail shoe. But why make an alternate? I don't know. Because, it, again, I like I said. I feel like this I, is this joke. I think that the reason why they did it is because this is a really good transition shoe. So if you've never had a trail shoe before and this is your first time having a trail shoe, this is going to be a good transition for you. I, I think it's too similar to Clifton, in my opinion, but we're, we're kind of wrapping things up. So I'm kind of giving my final thoughts on it. But I really want to show you guys like it, Hoka's website and just how <laughs> disappointed I am in their website. No good specs here. We just got the standard like. The rundown. Um, and they give a little paragraph here. Oh, there's a view more. Let's see if it gives us any more. Not much. 
I want stack heights. I want specifics. It says trail running, all terrain running. They're still using the terminology. They are still using it, so my source might be wrong. But Yeah, her secret source. <laughs> um, extended uh, heel pull. I, that's what I guess what they're calling heel pull, I guess. Uh, and you're in mesh compressed the model. Uh, molded EVA uh, foam midsole. Uh, Durabrasion rubber. Man, these fancy terms. They don't really need to use. Uh, four millimeter lugs. And recycled poly laces. So they recycle their laces. Cool. Just their laces? <laughs> they, <laughs> they do have some other things. Um, I don't remember the site that my source told me to look at. but Oh, come um, on. We're making a video I here. Know. This was like a, two weeks ago. I don't remember. They're vegan. We need them. No, no, that's not what vegan means, sweetheart. <laughs> so if you ever, you know, like everyone's talking about Crocs, <laughs> you can like boil them and eat them. <laughs> you can probably boil this you and eat it too. Don't, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that, please. Don't it's do not that. advised. <laughs> We're they joking. Still, they make synthetic materials. Please don't eat synthetic materials. <laughs> If we get 100,000 no. likes, I will eat a whole hoka. No, don't eat a hoka. Please. 100,000 likes. Like this video, but don't like this and video. And I will eat the reason. hoka. Stop. Gonna, this is going to take off and I'm going to have to eat a hoka. Well, first we got to go on open. Was that in the first video or the second That was in this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, if I didn't mention it yet... Just as we're wrapping up, make sure you subscribe, no, like the video, <laughs> and uh, if we get, was it 100 likes? I'm not going to, no, wait, <laughs> more than 100. If we get 1,000 likes, I will cut this shoe open, not the, this exact not shoe, this shoe, the one that she's borrowing from her store. I will cut it open. I will go to the store and cut this shoe open. What size is this? No, it's not. It, we can't look. You can't. We, you can't know. I hope we sell it tomorrow so you can't. Oh, it is a very common size, Nate. We better get 1,000 likes really quick. <laughs> if you get 2,000 likes, I'll cut. 3,000 likes, I'll cut two shoes open. Which ones? I don't know. Some Two of them in your store. <laughs> I have to ban him from my store. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and if we get 500,000 subscribers, I'll cut my camera open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. No, I actually don't because you spent a lot of money on that. <laughs> I doubt we're going to get 500,000 subscribers, honey. If we do, I can forward into the camera. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> we're just going to start a YouTube channel where we just cut things open. <laughs> I think that's right. It's like, can you blend that? <laughs> you don't know what that is. Look that up. I think that that's probably already a channel. Cutting things open? Don't give them ideas. They're going to go to that channel instead of ours. <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> we'll cut things open. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you like the video. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you guys stuck around. That was a pretty rough <laughs> That was probably, anymore. <laughs> that's probably more rough than our uh, and we, we our audio is peaking too. So uh, that's probably more rough than our first video. The second one, I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> but since he screwed up the video, we had to restart. So that's why you're. I here. made this video. <laughs>